No, everybody. Oh, the, one of the broadcast fails. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at the galaxies and beyond. We're going to be in the past and present at the same time. Present at the same time. Super, super good. Okay? The galaxy and beyond. Out there, the Apollo rocket launch. The Soviets were devastated. All they had done was send a man named Yuri Gagarin in, in low Earth orbit. Plus, he had died in a ro rocket crash just six months ago. And they were in a disaster. What had happened? Where'd they go wrong? Today, we're in the past, the now, and the future. Now, as I have said, anyways, <coughs> Now, after the Saturn V launch, the Saturn V launch, which, if you don't know, took Neil Armstrong and his crew to the moon, the USSR tried to hide evidence that they even tried to compete. An example was the rocket engineer Valentin Rusko, who uh, had a, a rifle, uh, who had a rifle as well. <clears throat> the rocket engineer Valentin Blusko had uh, a rival named uh, Sergei Gorolev. Sergei Gorolev was put in the gulag uh, by none other than, uh, uh, who was it? Yeah, Blusko. Just uh, so Glusko could reduce charges in the Russian prison he was going to. Stalin, Stalin, eh? Anyways. Then the rivalry lasted for a long time, not only on Korolev's side, but also on Glusko's side. It's, uh, Glusko uh, sabotaged one of Korolev's biggest projects, the N1. He took over the project, he scrapped the blueprints, and he destroyed the pieces. He took this. Failed draft throw. Eee! Don't boo me, audience! <laughs> anyway, uh, he also scrapped the blue... Uh, he raced out of the way, the space race out of the way. Uh, the science, space institutions could develop and improve drastically, uh, sending probes and rockets outside the solar system. And soon, NASA and PK joined their funding together to create probes that could go outside the solar system, like New Horizons and uh, of Voyager 2, and uh, the probe or the satellite uh, named, uh, what was it called? Mir, which uh, means all uh, three words in Russian. You want to know uh, what uh, uh, Mir means? It uh, means world, peace, and people. So if I wanted to make world peace, then I just have to uh, make Mir Mir. That's confusing, isn't it? Uh, it could be eight combinations of any random uh, thing, of which uh, six are grammatically incorrect. So, yes, you can imagine. Anyways, NASA and PK joined their funding together to also create the satellite Mir, who, uh, which took 10 years for all the probes to launch and create one uh, satellite from 1986 to 1996. And multiple, uh, multiple countries, such as Britain, Canada, Bulgaria, Slovakia, which split up uh, from Central Slovakia and the Czech Republic, uh, and, and multiple other countries, such as Morocco, uh, collaborated on uh, MIR, or, or uh, World Peace and People, all at the same time. Another example at superposition at its finest. Anyways, in the future, we can use sky hooks, solar sails, and lasers, and more efficient fuel to come, uh, reach the star. And maybe hibernate or... So, there is a lot of things we could theoretically do with uh, the help of new technology in the future. Uh, so, and it's amazing to see how far we've went. Uh, and in the future, 
tourists won't be taking a look at parks, statues, uh, towers, and gardens. They'll be taking a look at planets, binary systems, stars, and uh, asteroid belts. Thank you everybody for listening to this short five minute uh, talk. And I'll